Go. 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 What time it? It's uh four minutes after eight in the PM. Hey. Well, yeah, we're here though. Yeah, it's, but it's Tuesday night where I'm at. I'm only twelve twelve hours late on my show today. <laughs> We're, we're together at the same place, though, right here at reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. Where Denmark meets Arkansas. Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. That's right. So, hey, so, Grimner. Grimner, people listening downstream, uh, come back for the next live edition and join the chat. And if you're hearing it somewhere, you can, like, live right now, come to the chat. Click on reallibertymedia.com, pop-up chat. Did I lose you there, Vinny? Hello. Vinny. No, not Did Vinny. I lose? Vinny. Shouldn't have lost anyone. It says two on the call. Yeah, you and Vinny. Okay. We got you. Got right. you. So if we, I hang up, is it, it going to uh, still keep you guys on the call? It should. That's why we use this instead of the one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. The whatever this room thing you set up works good. Okay, I'm hanging. And we're in a perfect world tonight, me and Vincent. Hello? Yep. Hello? Hello, hello. Hello? You lost it, huh? I lost hmm. Grimner. No, Grim hang up, hung up. He just was checking to make sure we were connected. How rude. Why was that rude? I thought it was pretty cool. No, I'm just kidding. I know. But maybe other people don't. So, you're going to say hi to the bots and the bodies out there in electronic land? Nope, nope, nope. Not huh. going to do it. No, sir. Nope. Are, are you on a uh, strike? Yes. Are, are bots and bodies not your equals? They're not. Do you want to grow up and be a slave master in yes. a perfect world? Yes. What would we call you? Master. Master what? Master, master. <laughs> Masturbator. <laughs> hey, there was a guy named his. Uh, his uh, oh, here we go. Name. Yeah, he was one of these. Uh, uh, what they're called, uh, fake uh, marshals, like for fake judges and stuff. But anyways, yeah. uh, his undercover uh, FBI name was Marshall Marshall. <laughs> How original, original. Uh, anyway, so tonight for your typing entertainment in the RLM chat. The bots and bodies are as follows. We start with... Go ahead, Benny. You do it. Barman, Grimner, and Moose Girl. Keep going. You, you read good. Oh, okay. I'm not going to grade you. Bracket. for. We got DC and back brackets. Asmo, Chalcedony, Echelon, Inciv, uh, Graham Z, our very own Grammy Mary. I be on C. I don't know what the C is, but Don's... <laughs> Right there, Java Doctor Two, Meister Brown, Meister Meister Woody, and uh, the me, the consistent uh, me, uh, Ponder Gander with Poopster and Kate Roams, Van White. She is uh, she's our bot, one of them. Now it shows me right there is V N E, but I'm logged in here right now as the Vinny Vader, uh, so I'm not sure what's going on with my uh, client list over here, but that's what I got. With WD, uh, W4DKV, that's anti, of course. <laughs> yeah. Weather dork. Uh, yeah, this guy freelances doing other things. Uh, well, if we want to be politically correct, we'll, we'll say he's uh, in business of doing these other things. This guy? Fat. Yeah, fat. this guy, this bot. Oh, w the bot. Yeah, okay. Well, right, right, right. Phantom. Equality. Woo. Quality, yep. Equal rights you know, for bots. How many how many genders does a bot have? None. None? Are you sure? That I don't know. I don't really care. I was just making something up to answer you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it It'd would make like, sense because otherwise that's gonna be a mess. How many genders does the phantom have? None. Okay, I don't know. I'm just asking. There's anti. And Charles Corenas, along with Christopher Hitch. Oh. Uh, new additions. Hello, honey. Hi, Circle. It's my favorite move. move. Uh, not to not to moose like a cow, so don't. Yeah, let's not confuse the news and the moose. Uh, okay, to be clear. 
cyber noodle. Touching your cyberly noodle. <laughs> <laughs> your noodly goodness. <laughs> That's what Barry used to say about the past variants. Yes, the posterian. And, yeah, the, no, the postafarians. Postafarians. Yeah. Mucho de postafarians. There's duh. He goes by uh, some. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yen uh, Sid. Have uh, you seen him speak in chat? I don't know. I do not recall, sir. There, there you are. Uh, hello, me. I, I, I stand on the fifth. I have no comment. So what do you think about Frumpy? You think we could make an American out of him? Oh, I I don't see that there's really any difference at the point we're at now anyway. His no, his, his ruler is just as ridiculous as your ruler. In fact, Trudeau and Trump together kind of make a complete clown. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that was, so, that who was do a you joke. Think, <laughs> who do you think can impersonate American better, a Canadian or a Mexican? Yes. <laughs> now, say uh, hi to the, all the robots and people. Okay, boss. well, we're going to need a grommet for this one, so good thing he's here, along with guest 28457. Oh, um, that's somebody. That's Beth, I think, that lost her nick. Uh, she lost her nick. And her Scotsman. But not the her devil on his head himself. Mr. JJ is mine. Ah, uh, Would you like a kiss? Yes. We have a kiss in chat just for you, ah. along with WJ2002, covered in pond sauce ah. with the real, real Donnie Wu. You ask who? Well, come on up here. There's the one in the Unleashed Sock Puppet. He's got his hand up. In, or somebody's got, wait. Not sure. What's it? Let's get a ruling on Sock Puppet. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you want to know? How many knuckles does it take to get to the center of a sock puppet? I don't give a shit. Oops. Ass, I just did. I smart as you. Hey, you know what my topic for tonight is going to be? I don't know, but I'll say hello to Van Meter, Miss Donna. Donna, Donna. Van Meteor's here. Hey, Donna. Meteor. Yes. Yeah, she's like a meteor. She Like a wrecking ball? Mm-mm. Okay. Well, no, okay. like a meteor. Did I say wrecking ball? No, I said, I said like a meteor. Ball. No, you said like a wrecking ball in a questioning yeah. tone. Right. <laughs> I'm interpreting meteor. your voice, sir. <laughs> a, meteor, a meteor could, do they do any damage? But they only make... do it once unless it ricochets off something, I suppose. Okay, you know? that'll work. But, so what, but a wrecking the... ball it, with momentum is going to come back and slap you again. It's not your friend. So that's the topic, then, meteors and wrecking balls. No. My topic oh. for the evening that really has my, my uh, interest is the quest for proof and ignore what's happening now and focus on Roman history. <laughs> huh. But they're so similar that it, you would think that all these history buffs were surrounded by all these people that are quoting this and they know that and they're so brilliant. But... How come they don't stop what's going on if they know where it's going to go? Because they don't think oh. they know. That's why. I have a perfect subtitle then to go with that. For I you. would hope so, Mister. In a perfect world. There it is. There it is. <laughs> the war on sense making. You like it? Well, yeah, but you don't help sometimes. Sometimes you're the problem in that war. Uh, I know it. Don't you just love it though? Hey, I. Yes, you I stole you throw time. wrenches at the gears just to see what will happen. I like to throw monkeys with wrenches at the gears. I was being nice, Vinny. I was uh -huh. just playing it. Up. I didn't want to go all full tilt slam on you. Okay, hey, you want to do this thing early right here? This what, thing that we do? That thing that we do? Let me ask, hold on. Let me ask my uh, wife for some permission okay, over here. Yeah, because yeah. I live in Denmark, and I'm telling you, if the wife don't say yeah, I don't, I can't do it. Uh, isn't that the rumor, right? What's the ruling? This close to this uh, thing of ours. Hey, I was being a funny guy. Well, I'm waiting for Circle to give you permission because I oh, know that. Oh, I don't, good. I don't get permission. To do, what are you nuts? Sir, no, who was that guy? Nuts. Who? 
Well, uh, you know, I made a, I've made a few people upset with my political stands <laughs> over the Pardon. years. And, and one of the more memorable ones was a guy over at World Truth that he didn't like me because I wasn't a fan of Nelson Mandela. <clears throat> Because there's two histories of Nelson Mandela available to the public. And the people that lived in South Africa had a different um, story <laughs> than the books that were available and you know, popular. So I decided I was going to go with the stories the people from the place told me. And boy, they were ugly stories. Ooh. Mr. Mandela, he was a very bad fella. Well, I remember thousands and thousands of people crying at his funeral. So, of course, bad guys have fans. Are you kidding me? You remember his you funeral? Know, if, on no, if, but if you went out on a murder spree, Vinny, you'd get a following and be remembered, too. Just like Mandela, only just smaller. Did he kill people? Who? Mandela. Fuck yeah. Do a little reading. You'll, you'll see. you well, got to decide. He was a good guy. You, no. Why did they? such a grand state funeral for him well he had his own following but they were it's like bill gates has a fucking following as hateful and fucked as the guy is he's listen what right, rockefeller right. come on nixon all these people we don't like are followed by people like hands in that vote and support that kind what of about, thing what about his funeral though we need to settle this funeral business. i didn't go to his funeral did you, you don't remember all the hype on TV about it? Uh, TV? No, nah, I probably missed all that. But what, what I mean? did do is I huh. encountered people that lived there, and when I met them, said, I don't want to go back there. <laughs> well, gee, why not? Well, uh, what what they, year was it? Recall? The what first year time was, was uh, nine, I think it was 91. That was the first time he died? Yeah. No, no, the first time I encountered physical contact with people with experience not stories now aren't they killing a lot of white people it's like there? me telling a story about arkansas because i have never lived in arkansas but Man, if I, I were to tell somebody a story about arkansas and leave out the part about well i didn't really go there i don't really know what i'm talking about people will still believe it Jimmy. don't you know anything no probably not but I know that uh, you white people. I swear, you white people are so difficult. It's like herding fucking cats. Herding cats, I tell you. You're you're making my tumor bleed. I'm I'm saying this, Benny. Benny, I Benny. Go local here to read the rest of this. Listen, the Mandela effect is what I was trying to pull on you. This war on sense making. See, I was steering you off yeah. into yeah. believing yeah. that Mandela had died. Now, is uh, he dead or not? I. Uh, don't even know. I would assume he is by now. He was in jail for like 27 years. They let him out. He was a relic. So if anything, at the best, he's probably on some kind of machine. We need that. We in need a Big basement Bob. somewhere. Probably Big Pop. Rescue. Gramner. Oh, what? How do you do that thing? Type that thing there, whether dead or alive or whatever, Mandela. Do you think he's alive or dead right now? You say dead, right? I think I he's old that. enough to have been dead for a bit. Yeah, it's. I say 2019. He's okay, whatever. I still didn't go to his funeral, one way or the other. I'm making war on your sense making. Oh yeah, I, Vinny, you seem to have a way with people that is just totally your own. You're welcome. Yeah, I know. We could, if we had people like you in Congress, we might have a chance. You know that? I'd like to think Can so. Can you imagine a Congress full of Vinnies? That would, hey, I think you're fucking lying and scream at you for a fucking week. Oh, I think that politics would change <laughs> just a bit. You know, after the first day, it would be like, okay, I'll tell the truth. Please stop. Because that's how you do this without violence is you insist to a person's face that they stop fucking lying. <laughs> it's not hard to do. Try it. Try it sometime. But. I guess the first thing you got to know is what's the lie that you're actually repeating that you don't even know is a lie. <laughs> hey, what? you were right. What? Hey, the guy is dead, man. Should be dead. Like six, six years. He's born yeah. in 1918. Yeah, I told you he was old. He was a relic. But still, yeah, Henry Kissinger is a relic. Let's look at the Mandela effect. Let's. I don't care. 
let's see what we get on a search for that. Oh, okay. Are you are you Google searching or are you? What's your source of search? We can't uh, we can't use the word Google. Well, that's what I'm saying. What is your source of search, Mister? Because you're still I using Windows, right? I can't tell you. Oh, it's a top secret. Hey, I like I like lies that start out with I can't tell you. Those are the best lies that you will ever hear, my friend. I would like to tell you, but no, I cannot tell you. And then the first thing the listener does is grabs you by the shirt and goes, yeah, well, you better start talking. <laughs> and then you're a pigeon. You know, that you're going to listen to whatever they say. It's beautiful. Okay. I like this side. I found this. Ah, Vinny is reading while I am so. pontificating to the peoples. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah, you know yeah. what? We ought to start. I think we ought to start a boycott. Or a, a girl caught a bank I'm run. A hey, what about like a bank it. run? I think that all you fuckers that listen to us out there, go down and take your forty dollars out of the bank. <laughs> Let's go I, on a bank run. <laughs> I like apricots too. Well, it's just ridiculous. You know, the bank owns the damn money. Are they you cut ready, sir? what? No, what? 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 I was on another rant. Four twenty. Hey. Oh yeah, I just got that up. Go on. Oh. Whip. What? Don't wait for me, sir. I can't find the lighter. I'm uh, typing it into the chat so we can celebrate. Smart Did ass. Did you know that on. there was... We have joints of... What is that? Camarilla? Camarillo. Cam... Car... No, caramella. Caramella, caramella bud. That's it. Caramella. I would, I would like some caramella bud, please. I'll put that. Put it in a dirty pipe. Thank you. Hey, boo boo. So, uh, that, that's hey, your girl box right there. I'm telling you, man. Hey, I tried and I couldn't do it. Isn't that something? Did you try and not do it? You know what they call it? And I'm stalling for you. Go ahead and don't, don't, don't speak. Oh, he got the hit. The hit for hell has hit Vinny very well. And it's 421 on the. Danish clock out here in wherever the hell I'm at. Somewhere, not where you are. We're distant, right? Have you got your breath yet or what? Should I Should I keep going? <laughs> Interrupt me anytime you like there, partner. It's, uh, 721 GMT. Now, we we've, mm. we've decided when I yeah. say we, I mean I. Yeah, yeah, I know. Decided to to use uh Greenwich mean uh yeah, the mean grin tank green it. Grimmer time, right? What is that? GMT? Grimner? <laughs> I don't know. Time? I'm not sure now. I'm all confused. Did you have leftovers for supper last night? Uh, no, I had leftovers for um, li my listening pleasure this afternoon, though. Thank you, dear. Oh, nice. Thank you so No, I, I could not stay up late enough last night to catch them live. Sometimes I do. But last night, no. So uh, I caught the rerun. Good stuff too. I like I like the way Grim reads. Grim's more very um uh, <laughs> entertaining. He's got that gravelly voice thing going on. And then when he gets a topic that he really hates, then it's oh, I, <laughs> wow. I was listening to uh what was it? Some video. Some guy. He was oh I almost remembered it. He's a reporter. Yes, I remember the guy down in Houston on the uh, the cops that got charged with murder for for killing people in the wrong uh, house with a no-knock warrant yeah that reporter he sounded he reminded me well he reminded me more of chuck ocelli ah okay they have that same kind of sense of quality or, or i just hear it gravelly it's just different hey like this morning when john went live just started chattering about stuff this that and yeah. the other work chatting or whatever was on the on the main screen he was going off that did John, about an hour talking about prince the, the new guy the, in the rlm chat he has a new they're doing a yeah they're doing a the poopster prince power hour on thursdays poopster, poopster and prince power hour That's yeah right. thursdays well but yeah he, he, he couldn't sleep probably so he was on here this morning yeah well, it's good that to people are bed. using the freaking stuff. That's the point. I kept trying to go to bed, but you guys kept. 
<laughs> we had we were holding Vinny hostage. My hostage negotiating skills are just great. Uh-huh. I but can you know, hold a hostage. Gremner last last night. I said the leftovers are hot and on now. Oh. And that was, I said, who really writes? Who writes reality? The, the Grim news no. Next. We went through this last time. The person Thank living you. it writes it because. Two people can have the exact same experience and have two different kind of experiences, even though they're called the same thing. Listen, I got you something, dude, that you're going to really like. And this is where I stole this. Uh, well, I mean, stole. I mean, paraphrase, plagiarized the uh, this uh, subtitle of The War and Sense Making. Ooh. A couple of hours in, uh, I'm about halfway through, and I've only heard about it. 20% of it probably, but so yeah, I've got to listen to this stuff like more in a time or two. Ah, just one of those. Yes. Right here, the guy really starts out good and he drifts into uh, all different acts. Well, uh, let me ask you a question then. All right, what about it fulfills your uh, sense of proof? Because, you know, people can tell you a story on a link, say, or in person, and tell you and lead you down this road. They're telling you this stuff and you don't believe it. Even though you listen to it, yeah, and then at the end of it, you come at, well, no, you probably never really did that. Or that didn't happen that way. Something. So what well, is... let me tell you how effective it Okay, yeah. Well, give me an I example of how you life. prove something's true. I just convinced myself a while ago that M Nelson Mandela was still alive. Oh, Mandela yeah. Enough life. to check it up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah you did. Because I didn't try to influence you one way or the other. I just went, ah, believe what you like, hippie. It's on you. And you know what I know that you might not know? Uh, your wife in a political way? If Nelson Mandela is dead or alive, Sorry. does that have shit to do with me? That was, that was terrible, man. Not a thing. I don't even think about Nelson Mandela. And if I do, it's got nothing to do with reality. It's just a passing thought and a conversation. So, what, hmm. what are your mama joke been better? I don't know. Do you think that Nelson Mandela thinks about you? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, the whole thing is ridiculous to me. Everybody else loves this shit, but mm, I laugh. I just have a smirk like a Cheshire cat. And people go, what the fuck are you staring at, boy? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> give I like it, that. Give it a few years. You'll figure it out. Hmm. Are you still reading, sir? I no, I, I'm up here. My, my mind's just like... Well, what, right. what, what is something that's proof to you? I, I explain proof to me is the story that I liked is my proof. Everything else is bullshit because I don't fucking like it. So, well, the story I, that I like, that is the proof. I, I've spent a lot of time convincing myself and what it is, I suppose, and all these notions and ideas and mm -hmm. beliefs. Like what? Well, I, I think I've done a very fine job of cutting through it all and looking at all the all aspects of it. And, uh, so, I consider my opinion to be uh, based on good factual evidence but that's it. not the definition of an opinion so it doesn't matter what you think about your an opinion is it doesn't have any doesn't value that way in the first place it's just an opinion it has no factor or basis of measure it's just how you feel about shit all right let me get the edge of sketch and i'll try that one again there thank you because man interest is rubs me raw when people use that term my opinion, blah, blah, blah. Well, look up the damn definition of the word, and then you'll realize it doesn't mean anything. It's just what you feel about stuff. Hey, you can make fun of me all you like, mister, in a perfect world. It's my edge of sketch, man. I, I can't spell hardly on these things. Oh, Never yeah. mind. Forget about it. And Flash jumped off to go get his edge of sketch. No, Gary. I didn't. Jump. I no, no, no. See, here we go. Bye. Him, I'll be him, back. That's a good girl. I wish you wouldn't mute up. There's okay. Someone. Never mind. Though. You're welcome. Girl, Mr. Yeah. Don't mute up. But I, the I, mic does not cover. has to be muted. It's horrible. Listen, 
me a favor and call Hannah over so that she can hear me. I want to talk. I to yeah. They're going upstairs. Hey, uh, <laughs> now bring her back. Circle, don't leave. <laughs> Go. I see you. No, I'm teasing. I got. I got this. <laughs> and and I don't go. No, Circle. they're going. She, she's had enough for the day. It's been a long day for Cirque today. Oh uh, well. She's been up since early this morning, so she's looking forward to getting the hell out and going upstairs and laying down. Did you travel out and about in the world in your uh, area today? Fuck no. Mm -mm. I right slugged. I stayed home like a slug. All my sunflowers are laid down to the little fence I put around. Yeah, them. but you know what? Somehow, I don't think my question really made made it clear to you. All right, we all have this quest for proof. I defined how I decide something's proof. I'm curious. How do all you right, define? Tell, tell, how do you define me. to me that something is proof to you? Well. As I reached down, I found a roach that had fallen on the floor, and it's proof that I smoke. <laughs> okay. So if you could see it and touch it, it's proof. Well, it's not really proof. What I mean, if it's a story? That... What if somebody put it there on purpose, you know, as a setup? How? I, well, I come on. It's dance making, sir. It is a setup for the takedown. Is your so kingdom I, that? I no truth. But... Tell me your truth. How do you know what is true? Please, sir. Oh, I already did in the first place. I said whatever I the story I like to me is proof. There you go. I'm done. And all the rest of it's just a bunch of crap. Eh, not interested. Yeah, so that's, that's it opinion. saves me a it, it doesn't matter. Well, well, no. See what you're voicing is an gotcha. opinion about my opinion. <laughs> so they cancel each other out. It's worthless. Hey, it doesn't give me a fact. What? Uh, well, I'll be right back. I'm going to pour another oh, cup of coffee. Oh, absolutely. You go do that. And uh, But lately, it's been just clear to me that as collective, we're ignoring what's going on today in a lot of ways. is real, You're just ignoring all this shit because it's so overwhelming. Inoculations, taxes, uh, prices, jobs, all this shit piled up one thing on top of the other. So, there we go. Hey, so he's back. So we need to do is... Uh, simplify stuff and you can't because all the shit's going on what are we supposed to do talk about it <laughs> hey Vinny. hello I'm, I'm gonna ignore everything that's going on and just live in roman history i think that's yeah, what i'll do talking about that at the beginning i can com you completely lost me now give me the title again the uh main title here oh well, part of it was the quest for proof, and the other part is ignore what's happening now and focus on Roman history. Well, why would we do that? This is my Because question. they're why, so why similar. Why? It's Are it's they? like watching a movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. It's just this is a modern-day version with a lot more people in it. And the, you know the, the territories absorb more bodies, but it's the same uh, game. The game is the same. Uh, there's a theory that the uh, Roman uh, Empire never really fell. I mean, it was transferred to uh, the Roman Catholic Church and the papacy and then continues on into the city-states of the day of uh, D.C., London, and the Vatican. Now, so are, where would you get an really, idea like that, Vincent? Are we really in ancient Roman history or pre present modern-day empire? This, uh, this lamb-like creature that speaks like a dragon. Some people call it America or the United States. But it's neither. You don't think so? I do. I, I would say no, so. No, it's obviously not. Well, whatever this is goes deeper than we usually speak of, too. There's older treaties that the public isn't informed about. We're not taught about them as a thing in school. So they're there. But you got to dig and look and go on and check it out. But... Uh, what difference does it freaking make, really? It's all about the enforcement that people are willing to go oh. to, like Bunkerville, which you usually bring up. But until shit like that happens, people don't care. They don't give a fuck about nothing. And that's just the way we are. You know that why war and strife is more, it's more easily transmitted and accepted by others. As opposed to peace. This message of uh, peace is harder to overcome, but 
in the long run, in the very end, which is more powerful, love or, or evil? Well, I, I don't know. How do you value that? See, that would be a, some people are for the evil, Vinny. I yeah, guess there's yeah. a divide and conquer out there somewhere. It's easier to spread. Now, look at the message of Jesus Christ when he says, uh, ye who are without sin cast the first stone, talking about Mary Magdalene, right? Okay. And then what does it what does it become? What does it turn into later on uh, down the road when uh, the Inquisition and they they torture somebody to force them to believe some idea ideology? Well, right here. not necessarily to believe, but to uh, admit, That's to say true. out loud. Yeah. Because yeah. once upon a time, your actual word had a fucking value to other people. And people had had moral, and they wouldn't just bullshit and say, yeah, and not mean it. It right. mattered to the person. Those things have been filed down. We've changed. The war on sense-making. Yeah, pretty much. But we've been, you know, all these things have been uh, rearranged and re-explained, re-educated. It's a different world because of the people in control. Well, if you get somebody to get on board that make it the truth, then if you get two or more people saying the same thing, uh, no, I don't think it really has anything to do with it. The truth just is something, and I think agreeing with it or disagreeing with it is wasting your time. It's like voting. Sure, they're going to count the ballots, and the guy that won is so wonderful. Fuck you. Both those idiots were picked by the same bankers, and you guys are lame. <coughs> Cigar. Hey, guess, uh, oh, uh, Art stopped by last night. He hit me up on uh, Skype and wanting to know if I was doing radio, this and that, and uh, anybody he could hook him up with. So I, I invited him over to uh, Chuck O'Jelly last night. Graham there and Donna and a few others stopped by over there. Uh, now he was kind of distracting me. Uh, for me, he was wanting me to, I don't know, be fine and do stuff. And he was wanting to be why he left UCY and why he left Real Liberty Media because – uh, people, people are anarchist and uh, what else in uh, communist or, or whatever, and he needed somebody that would just be on board with what it is he has to say. So where do we go with that? I mean, <laughs> you hope to find the perfect world. Well, I left it up with him. I got I, and I don't pay attention to Skype, and I usually close it, but I've been keeping it on. And here I've got. Uh, uh, <laughs> No word from Chuck, so guessing that's a no go. Man, you gotta step up. You gotta you gotta do for yourself. Bear free. And here's my friend Dodie, and she sent me some cool pics from uh on the Sacramento River where we uh where we were at here just what a couple of years ago, a couple of summers. So I'm definitely wanna head that way. Oh. And I'm definitely making a stop over there. Yes. I will. Yeah, but we'll you're go. you're not talking about now. You're talking about winters. So it's not we're well, not even done with August, and you're already in the I, winter time. I got distracted. <laughs> Man, you and Mary, it's like you doing radio with both of you. Sometimes would be like doing a solo show, but with somebody else there. <laughs> and oh, we're yeah, we're in one of those today. We're talking about two different two different ideas. But that's okay because you know what, Vince? We are in a perfect world. That's okay. the problem. We exactly. Are. In a nutshell. People settle for what they got and complain about it. Uh, hmm. I don't hmm, I don't think I'm one of those people because I've been mobile and went, fuck this, I ain't staying here and tolerating that. And then other times it just Life took me somewhere and I escaped it all be just because I was lucky or whatever. But not all of this was planned in my, you know, my life. It just happened. You're listening to a wave of words. Oops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but pe some work. people have plans and, you know, they, they go know what they're going to do. And I did the opposite and said, ah, see where life takes me. And so far, so good. Well, that looked interesting from Doug. I opened it up and started playing, but I'll have my history. I'll check it out later. But your word games tonight, sir. That's it. Away with words. I like the title. It caught, caught me right away. Well, give me a word that the system uses on the public that the public doesn't know is being used on them. Because you've done all this kind of uh, 
Wait a minute. I word history, like tell, you and Mary. Tell me, tell me, tell me. All right. Tell me a anything. word that the system uses to on the public that doesn't mean what the public believes it means. It's been changed. Or an idea, like the IRS, voting, shit like that. Uh, it's, I'm going to go with kind of a generality here. Yeah, okay. Pick news, news, news is fact. It's given to you because you want you need the what's true. But really, what is it? It's propaganda. It's clap. The clap. Grimner can tell you what the clap is. <laughs> yeah, no matter what side of the story you're standing on, if it comes through this source, then it's garbage no matter what they say. It doesn't matter. Don't need yeah, to listen gotta, to it. You got to you gotta pick through it, really, right? No, it sounds, see, my way sounds insane, I guess, to you. But no, I can't listen to it. It's just, fuck it. Why waste all that time picking and choosing when it, half of it's not true? Fuck it. Leave it all alone. I'll leave that to all you geniuses out there to figure it out. And I'll start out against it from the very beginning and be laughed at until everybody else realizes, oh, that is bullshit, isn't it? Because that's the way it usually goes. I'm the first one to be laughed at for not believing that what everybody else believes. That's why I started the dork table. I think I should capitalize this. In I think right. you should capitalize that and isolate it. Listen, I've got this here. In the <laughs> it's a, it's a perfect uh, paraphrase plagiarism, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'll uh, I'll give you the links too, but here it is. Uh, afterward, well, I'll, I'll toss it to Graham or to you. Okay, we got links for the notes, links or what? I haven't made any notes yet. Let me do that. I will I'm, open a page for your link, sir. Your sirshipness. All righty. So I'm going to do two links and two huh? uh, two subtitles right there. Oh. So the war on sense making away with words. I like it. It's perfect. Mm. So I I haven't, I haven't gone, I've got that way with words. I'm going to read that later, but I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty good. In the war of sense making, I'm still in the middle of listening to. Okay, you. well, I don't see a link to copy, but I hear you I'm, talking. I'm, I'm coming with it. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to start with the dick jokes again. No, uh, no, no. No, no, no. Here there is. I'm there's, coming. Uh, there's one. <laughs> you guys are one, so funny. Uh, and the one that Duh posted right here. Tune in. Oh, uh, see, it's going to start playing here. Oh. Hold on. I'm having the worst day today on the computer. Okay, yeah. now. That right there. Sorry. The war on you, but... sense making. Daniel Schmatt. Those two Lichtenberger. Okay. Got him. Hold on there, sport. Wow. I wow, look like a fucking secretary or something. What happened, Mr. Vinny? Did you get lost? Did you bump your head again? Yeah, that's a side point. Hold on. Wow. Yeah, see, I don't like doing all this stuff when I'm live either. Because that's okay. It interrupts. I can give it to you later. Well, I thought it's for the links for the notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, then I need it now because uh, it's just not open it right. What the fuck? Can you say that guy's name? I tried. Schmachtenberger. Yeah, Hansel will probably love that name. You think? He'd probably yeah, write it. Yeah, he'd probably write it on his arm and lick it off. Ooh, that's a he'd German like, name. Hmm? Brutal for the third. Uh, probably. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your number one fan, pal. Ooh, I'm telling you, if I had fans like that, you know what I'd do? What? I'd give up doing radio. I'd stop. I'd retire and go. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm doing that again. <laughs> no, it's kind of sad, but. Uh, as long as me and that fellow disagree, I feel uh, like comfortable about it because, oh, wow, this war. I'm going to have to do the notes after the show because you got links in them and shit. Yeah, you fucker. Messed okay. me up, too. So we'll do the links afterward. It was a double dose. I yeah, but hang out. around. No, nah, it's too complicated for me right now. That's okay. We'll do it again. I got this, man. My end, you got to keep up with your end. No, at the end of the show, we'll just repost them for me and 
and uh, I'll throw them in the notes, but I'm not doing it now, I said. Not a problem. There you go. But you know what we can do on the In a Perfect World That Most Folk Can't? What? Not give a shit about what's going on. <laughs> do you care what's going on, really, Vinny? Do, are you sitting there? All right, let me ask you that. Like this, are you sitting in your chair in Arkansas, totally consumed by the conditions in Venezuela or no. Los Angeles or Chicago or Paris or Hong Kong? All these things I in think the news. Cool what's going on in, in uh, Hong Kong. Why? Well, man, these people are really, they're getting down serious bit. Boy, what you mean? Well, what? I saw a link of a uh, guy cutting down the facial recognition uh, equipment that they have on these tall yeah. things. Posted. I saw that, too. That was cool. Cut the tower down. <laughs> well, <clears throat> maybe they're uh, trying to get America to notice. That's what I think. Well, then who's behind it? Because... You well, can this is, wait. Well, well, let me finish. You can ban anything you freaking want to in America. They banned cannabis for fuck's sake. So, why are and then you got YouTube or whatever? They they can stop anything from being shown. So why are they not stopping this from being shown? They want people to see that. <laughs> why? I can describe it only in the following words, sir, from the great. Well, what do you know about the 5G and the facial recognition and all that? What's your opinion on that? Well, we'll have a perfect world one day <laughs> if it has to be forced upon you. <laughs> yeah. If I got to bend you over a fucking table and give it to you the old-fashioned way, <laughs> you little I, bastard. The old-fashioned way. Yeah, can you see these fucking little punks now today? Dealing with the 60s and the 70s. Good God. It would be like this Antifa shit. People would be falling down all over the place. You know, in uh, Hong Kong, I really think this is, uh, no matter where it was originated, mm -hmm. it has completely come to grassroots now. They're serious about it, man. Well, the, an the Antifa in, in uh, Washington is different than the Antifa in Paris. Grimner says that uh, us is behind it. Did, well, yeah, but who's funding it? But th they're different groups, but they're being identified to the public in such a similar fashion. You know, Maybe in, they want in, Great Britain in back. Such a they want this shit to happen, man. These people that run this chaos that we live in, they want the cities on fire, man. Stay busy fighting crime and fighting evil. Fuck you. Sit in my living room and talk to Vinny and make fun of the whole damn thing. Ha, ha, ha. It's a choice that we can make if we know how to make it. But the first thing that needs to be done, you need to get away from a big population. It can't be done amongst a crowd. You gotta, okay. yeah, you gotta get away from the city. First step. And there's so few people. I seen a thing on the internet yesterday on Minds said that two thirds of the internet users are using a cell phone. Wow, that's pretty limited. So they're I'm sitting over here with a dead battery. <laughs> okay, but I'm just I'm not us. Vinny, we're, we're the crust, Vinny. We have laptops and we got towers and multiple screens and all this kind of shit. We're the, we're the weirdos of the internet world beside the game players. I can this, hook up my computer and put it up on the other big screen over Big screen, it's whatever, 13 inches. Look, I played a rerun of Clint Richardson what? on UCY. And Cirque, Cirque hadn't heard it before. But, yeah, I, heard, which, but I had heard it. Uh, it doesn't matter which one it was. No, I'm just telling no. you a little bit here. Go ahead. But Cirque was so impressed with, wow, who is this guy? And then when she's listening and he's talking about you know stopping doing radio to write a book, I'd already knew, but she was telling me because she had just heard. And, right. But I, I heard the show a long time ago. And Clint is really good. He's like Grimm. He gets on a rant, and he, he's rough, and he's got his opinions. And, you know, then there's like Rob Works and John are more soft-spoken and easygoing. And then me and you are like, you never fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Mary is all funny all the time. Very rarely ever serious. 
You know, everybody's got their little place, their uh, I think ID spot. Funny. Hmm? I say Grammy's seriously funny. Mm hmm. I know. <laughs> we did a few dork tables together, Vinny. I, I remember. <laughs> anyway. Hey, listen, this is from Grimner, and then we have a note to you. RLM can be considered as a liberty based alternative to the corporate lame ass propaganda. <laughs> Excuse Clap. me. Clap, please. Don't cough. Clap. Uh, well, you said Clap. don't Clap. mute, so I didn't Clap. mute. Clap. Clap. Sources out there, mostly people refer to those sites and sources as mainstream media or news. They are neither. Thank you, Grimner. Then that, that note to you, sir. A couple of them in a row. Oh, Christine, no. Oh, I got confused. Uh, no, I don't live near Kirstania. That's in um, that's that? right next to the very same place as uh, Copenhagen. We're about uh, forty miles from there, give or take. I'd say forty something like that. I heard a dog's name. Rituals was, was asking if I and, it, and but my screen blocked out the middle of Kirstania and I couldn't read it. Yeah, I can. It's, so I went. I live in Denmark, and then I realized what the question meant, and interrupted you to answer it. So there we are. Those are things. Well, because you know, what? I never read the chat, <laughs> and then when I do, this is what happens. So I try not to. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I think technology should be shared? I don't know who he's talking to, in, in, ex in but if me and uh, Vinny did shows with Larry Woods and Larry Woods is it, on to this mo the most brilliant idea in engineering I get it would be engineering or electrical engineering but that wrapping the coil in a, in a way that doesn't cause friction to create heat and boom and here we are still looking at windmills and you know there's also the the guys that design the carburetor that runs on water that keep getting murdered I mean, there's other ways than what we do. <laughs> right, Vinny? Yeah, sure, lots of ways. And then every time somebody comes to the public and goes, hey, look what I figured out, then they're they're gone the next day. Uh -huh. Oof, where'd they go? Oh, he moved to Brazil and started an illegal cocaine farm. We'll catch him. Right? And I think I actually have something about that in my uh, history of uh, on YouTube that probably fit that idea. Sure enough. Well, songs, songs. You like this is vibration, right? What is music? It's songs. Everything is. We're, we're see. We need songs. to be educated in areas that we laugh about, and we need to laugh about areas that we've been educated in. And my poor wife, she she knows what I really think about this whole crap we live in. And some people really get uh, personally attacked with whatever it is I don't agree with that they believe. Oh, just my, you know, but it goes back to the opinion. An opinion is based on how you feel, not on what you know. So it doesn't have a value. It's it's yours. It's like your signature. You share it with people, but nobody really wants it. Right, right, right Vinny, when do I ever want your fucking opinion? Huh, huh, huh? I don't know. Do I ever agree with you about anything? I mean, really, come on. Seriously, sir. <clears throat> I No, we do. We agree about the basic principles right. of hold shit. On. Right if, I, hold on. Hmm. if I said yes, hmm. if I would have answered yes, what would that? Uh, how would that have turned out? Don't That'd know. You didn't? Ask no. me the question again. I, I can't. Do I, do I agree? You no, what do we agree about in the overall of scheme of life that you know that matters? The things that matter that other people are not friendly with each other about, as well as me. I've got people I disagree with to to the level of I don't even want to read your shit. Fuck this. So what? <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, populating the Amazon with polar bears. Whoa! And how do you expect to do that, sir? It'd be impossible. They wouldn't even take if you tried it, would it? I don't have a clue. See, we're going off things that I've read, not things there, that I've done. I've never raised a polar bear. Come on. What do I know about polar bears? What about bipolar bears? <laughs> I, I do radio with one of those. <laughs> gotcha. Vinny bear. Ah, well, you, you just like being different, though. You, you kind of 
you enjoy that. Like Hans. Hans enjoys being called an idiot. You enjoy being called a weirdo. You're weird. Oh, yeah. Every, yeah. The people that aren't don't belong in RLM. I'll tell you that. Most of the people on RLM have their own personal brand of... Boy, that's odd. That's why we're here. The uh, internet doesn't have the same appeal in writing to everybody equally. This is a fringe of the fringe of the fringe. The, the writing typing crowd. Crazy. Well, yeah, but it's... Uh, uh, I've read stuff about if you can write in cursive, read and write in cursive, blah, 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 you can take over the world because people can't read in cursive no more. So you can you know, write your plans to take them over and hand them to them. They wouldn't know what it says. But what I don't understand is if that's the case, what do they do for a signature? Never mind. I guess I asked the wrong person. Mr. Marijuana Time is sitting on his throne. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Yeah, it's 420 somewhere, damn it. Anyway. Uh, um, there are 51 or 52 states. I don't know. The, but there's 50 states, and then there's the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam. There's these territories that the United States has accumulated over the years, but refuses to give them statehood so they don't have any say in the politics that go on on their land. Some people like the Puerto Ricans say they don't want to be uh, a state. That's what you get told. Okay, and right. then there's, there's links out there in information land that say that the United States does not offer them the, the opportunity to be a state. Financially, it works out better for the muckety mucks up on the hill for Puerto Rico to be treated the way it gets treated now. Given its statehood would give it more say in its own politics, and they don't want that. This is a fucking game, pal. This is bullshit democracy nonsense. It's bullshit stories. And even the people that started it said, well, we're giving you a republic. Let's see if you can hang on to it. And they lost the fucking thing in less than 20 years. Well, how does that make <laughs> How does what? That make you feel? Oh, I wonder if I can Deceived, find it. I suppose. Just lied to. I don't feel anything about it. I just... I don't like that, that instead of the truth, whatever the truth is to the person listening is not what I'm saying. Whatever really happens and the results of those actions are manipulated and we're told stories about them, but we're never told the truth. And then a hundred years goes by and then somebody writes a book about what really did happen. But you've learned your whole life about this other way it happened. So your brain isn't going to accept the truth that came in at the end. It's a brilliant game. I wish I would have thought of it. Kind of jealous. Hey. I shared a link here, the missing 13th Amendment. Uh, 14th, I, saw this. I thought. 13th oh, Amendment. 13th. Yeah, it says no lawyers allowed. In oh, yeah, law. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget numbers, That's, but yeah. yeah lawyers, lawyers are, uh, you know, part of the British accredited registry. Mm -hmm. it's, Still it's, are. Said to, to mean that. And uh, so, therefore, they have an allegiance to a foreign uh, nation. So, they're not, therefore, <laughs> going to oh, wait, but, but. But so they had to hide that. And then you got, you know, having people with <laughs> citizenship in office and running things. Two countries. Isn't it I'm wonderful? To my home country. Which one is it? That well, I think, I think that Trump kind of is partial to Israel. Yeah, he is. You know, I, I seen him, I, I seen him in a, a, a picture and he was wearing a Yamaha on his head and he was licking a wall. And he looked like a Jew. He had his he had his I'm a Jew guy suit on and shit. It was very disappointing. You Listen, know why? I saw, uh, I saw these in William Wagner's when I was there when I went to uh, uh, Lompoc, Lompoc that is in California. Lompoc, yeah. California. yeah. Anyways, he had uh, these books here that uh, have that very thir original Thirteenth Amendment in there that you could read verbatim. Mm -hmm. So I, I can I'm testifying to the fact of the existence of seeing these in books uh, in print mm -hmm. in uh, the proper uh, time that uh, 
showing that these were original and then what you have afterwards on later on after in the uh, 1860 whatever it was okay you know. and see there's right from the beginning i've already got doubt and you want to know why doubt about what about your story what what doubt would you have well how, what's your proof that your information is not bogus because I seen the original books. I seen this right here that I shared this link there. The missing Thirteenth Amendment. No lawyers allowed in public office. Yeah, I see so that. Facts or has the books. The original books I saw my very self, for mm -hmm. with my very own eyes. I see what is being shown right here before you. He paid a lot of money for those books. And yeah. So what's the truth, Vinny? This is my point. Is we get raised be, right. by these people, and they tell us all these things, and then we grow up, and then we find out later all these other things. And the things that we find out prove the first people were lying to us. Where do you? Where does your mind go when you have to handle that? Well, and I not everybody's like us and been around and you know took it the hard way. Some people had you know an easier life. And they're finding out late that, hey, this thing ain't what we were told. That's right. And sometimes, or people like Prince that just, you know, ended up at the site. But they're probably, you know, he already knows most of the, most of the mainstream stuff that we agree with at Real Liberty Media. Doesn't need to be taught to the people that hang out there. Yeah, that's right. And the, the, and the argumentative people, the people that cause all the, you know the disagreement. They're just having fun. It's it's like a party. You know, just don't like punch to, anybody in the nose. Yeah, I like to throw the, the clapping monkey in the middle of chat sometimes. Oh, I know you're a horrible man. You're a horrible shit dis dis disturber, sir. Yeah. Well, it it causes everybody to jump on it like zombies. You know, in the uh, zombie game, whatever it was. Well, we all got similar. Uh, Similar buttons. buttons that get pushed with words. You know, if you if you pay attention to certain people, you know what, what to say, what not to say after a period of time. You know what makes them excited and what doesn't. Uh-huh. And then you got these fucking bots though. <laughs> and they throw <laughs> they throw shit out there that you read it first and then you realize after oh, that's the bot. That's what happens to me. And I read the name and then after I'm done reading what it says, then I go, oh, yeah, that's the damn bot. Not bot first, then read it. I'm not that quick. You know what I mean? I, I don't identify who said it until after I've read it. Oh, uh, yeah? So, well, yeah, like smartass. I just read, here. and then I, oh, yeah, the bot. Yeah, I see it. But it, my brain is so slow, it don't go, doesn't say, oh, smartass is a bot. Now read his shit. It just goes, name, <laughs> comment, <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> and some shit can get me emotional. You know that? Make me angry. Yeah? Yeah, you know what I don't like? What? People that are warmongers. Warmongers? Warmongers. You know why? You like kill them? I think you should like be able to kill them, right? No, 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 no. Uh -uh. We, no, uh, see, that's the whole point. I'm anti-murder. You know what I would do to punish people? I what? would put them in the city that they love the most, in the poorest part of town, under video surveillance, and tell them you got 30 days and you can't get help from anyone. See ya. And you're we're you, watching. <laughs> what do you mean you can't get help from anybody? What would they have to do? What, would, what do people do when they have no money and can't work and... They live beg? on the street, don't they? Would they beg or would they try to... Well, maybe they would, wouldn't they? Who knows? It would be interesting to see Hillary Clinton broke in Detroit at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> A cankle crackler. <laughs> and, but protected by the same freaking laws as everybody else on the street to be taken. She would have to beg, wouldn't she? <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, if one of these... If oh. one of these rich pricks, like from that, what is that movie? Uh, one, Mel Brooks did a movie about it called. Uh, no, 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 no. It was called. He, he was supposed to be a making a bet with this guy. Life stinks, Mel Mel Brooks. So he makes okay. a bet with this other millionaire guy that he can survive the streets for thirty days, 
And while he's surviving the streets, they steal all his shit and make him broke. Yep. <laughs> so it's funny. It's just uh, he gets him back in the end, right? Well, yeah, because it's Hollywood. But the truth, there. Th- see, that's what I mean. Is they show us the truth right to our face in the form of amusement, you know, uh, a film, entertainment. And within that movie is so much true that you think you're being told a story that's not true. Mm-hmm. So this is what I how I interpret these movies after all these years. They've been subtly guiding how we how we think about medicine and shit that you don't really think you're listening to. And they make these, they drop these little, you know, curveballs in there about, yeah, just like the uh, inoculation, it's good for you. And then they they go back to the script, whatever it's about, but they throw these little pitch lines in, into the story, like subliminal messaging, same thing but out loud. Okay, well, I'm agreeing with your thing about how we get fucked with through the uh, electronic world, and how we're spoken to. And how we're taught to understand what the shit we say means. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's like the, the Danish-English clash. You know, I, I was telling her the other day, I said, well, what, what's the point of me learning Danish now? If I'm going to come in here to the bar, at the very best, I'm going to get into an argument with somebody because I didn't understand quite what they said or they didn't understand me. So, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and finally click. You know, went, oh yeah, that's that could be a problem. Could be, could be, could because, be. Well, that's how I see it. You know, when you're drinking, your mind isn't all. You're not completely yourself. You're a little different. So, hmm. let's not make the problem where the problem doesn't belong. Just leave it outside. That's the easiest way for me. But you do like a little trouble, don't you, Benny? Well, I like to flirt anyway. Yeah, well, see, that usually brings rain. People our age, even even people our age are still straight. Haven't given up, joined MAGTOW. Got a red Trump hat, you know, right? Doing all that, you know, belonging to a group shit. But it's getting pretty bad. I, if what I see is true, what these links, people are fucking violent, man. They're beating each other up in the streets. And they say in Portland that the cops are standing down and they're not getting involved. So they've yeah, got the, a, Well, the Proud Boys and the Antifa up there. Yeah. Um, I was watching a video on some gal from CNN, and she was really... And the dude that she was interviewing was a... Uh, uh, I think it was Cuban or Puerto Rican. His mom and dad or something maybe come from there. But anyway, it's definitely not the Caucasian uh, vanilla skin uh, flavor. Oh, and is that what they uh, expect Antifa to be? No, no, the... Uh, the uh, the Proud, Proud Boys, Boys, the brown yeah. skin one. Yeah, they say they're uh, Western uh, chauvinistic. She kept. <laughs> she was trying to say male chauvinist. She kept trying to run the whole... Uh, what what it was instead of you know trying to find out you know just showing the, how they manipulate the word and the narrative right mm-hmm. and then we get, I get over here to Facebook and what I've noticed is uh, a lot of people that uh, the, the notification bell is turned off on them and I wow. turned the notifications on but I I posted there uh, earlier today mm-hmm. on that that I've, Facebook has chosen to turn the notifications off that I had previously selected. There's several of you here on my friends list. And I found the common denominator seems to be those uh, that uh, people are activists and most, uh, or more specifically, to say uh, supporters and defenders of the Bundy Ranch stand in Oregon wildlife refuge occupation. So are they controlling more and more of that information? Mm-hmm. That's what See, I'm reading on mine. Yeah, here's my friend, Coy Callahan. I've known him since uh, uh, I was 20 something, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, went, uh, went out and uh, stayed on my trip with him around the country in, in the summer of 2017 there for a few months out in color California. Uh, so I know for a fact I had his notifications turned on, right. But 
So when he posted their comment and I checked it and yep, lo and behold, his was turned off. Now there's a few others there. So everybody else so far has uh, not been turned off, but I did have to turn on, uh, I forget brand Thornton. His was turned off. I know that, uh, Sergeant Mo and, uh, I think Carol Bundy was turned off and Ammon Bundy was turned off. So they're definitely trying to, uh, manipulate the flow of information here on Facebook. They're not trying to many. They're well, doing you know, it. I've, yeah, you correct me. Thank you. Yes, well, I just want to be clear. This is a little different than one of my jokes. No, I mean, they really are doing it. So, hmm, what what do we do to respond to that? Um, I can give you an example. I can post it in chat, too. Well, you, if people are going to, less people are going to find out. That's the whole goal, to keep this shut down. And the people that know, know. There's just not a lot of a that agree with this side of the argument. The That's government has a tremendous amount of support from voters who are afraid of thinking for their self. Then you're welcome. <laughs> well, there's plenty of them, sport. Hey, Doug, seen my, my uh, bull riding video, didn't you? Oh, that was too funny. Uh. <laughs> the video is the bull. Been, though. That's, that's where I've been making my stand, making the difference there. Well, uh, you ride the, levied right here. Levied right here at Real Liberty Media. Yeah, but you ride the bullshit better than anybody. I'm huh? telling, I'm telling you, man. Hmm. But every once in a while, you'll break down and you'll fight back too. But you know what the key, the key to being right and true is in the end, to me, being consistent. Yeah. Yeah, and and calm. Because it's easy to get mad and raise your voice. That hold, does, on, does, hold, on, hold on here a minute. I don't appreciate yeah. your tone of voice, sir. See? Exactly. And I go, hey, fuck you. I, I'll make my tone even worse, bitch. Now what we're going to... See, so that is where the system wants the public in that frame of mind where you're, you're not getting along. You, you can't stand the other guy. That's what they want. Because no unity. It's a powerful tool. And then they replace the, that concept of unity is replaced with Democrat or Republican. Oh no, no, no! That's just splitting the cookie into two, you know, two sides. You're not, you're not sharing anything. You're, you're making a fight the minute you do that. So I've got a solution to all these world problems, Vinny. And people think I'm joking. It's very sad. I can do. Well, I have this idea that if we stop lying and stop killing each other and grew some fucking hemp, that inside of six months you'd have a whole brand new fucking planet. Just, six months? I think it'd take a little longer than that because there'll be... Oh, I don't. No. See, see the technology... No, no, no. The technology's already there. All you got to do is put some fucking attention to a problem to fix it and we don't have bodies to do that yet we don't even have a public that is, understands there's a problem to fix yet they're still looking forward to gmos and inoculations Vinny. it's a fucked up world they don't know the lies they've been told it's n insane well it's a lot deeper than most people would ever even begin to get exactly which is what we nibble around you know, the edges on the radio podcast that you do with me. We joke around about all this stuff, but it's very serious. But, mm, you know me, I, the more serious you make it, the more control you give it. So mm, I keep it at a distance. I know it's there, but mm, you guys want to fight it. You go ahead. I'll stay out of this. That's what I call government. Delicious government. Oh, I'm telling you, man, it comes in many flavors. I think they got like 214 flavors of government all over the world. How many genders of government are there? 214. Uh, might have to ask the computer for a, for an up to date number of countries, but uh, last count that I noticed was like 214. 57, sir. Well, Hi, I'm 57. Heinz, whatever though. <laughs> hands, hands, fit, hands, fifty six. Hands, fifty. Oh, uh, keep your hands off it, my friend. You will so get a rash. Hmm? Which one is the ketchup? Is it Heinz and Heinz? Yeah, 
Uh, no, well, they've got Heinz over here, too, but I don't buy it. It's making me... I don't support the John Kerry family or any of those damn rich folks. I, I, I get imitation brand ketchup. Yeah, the way it was making it came out bottled. <laughs> Man, that stuff was really good. I was like, hey, let me have one. It's like that. It's like tomato soup. Well, you know that John Kerry's married to the heir, heiress, the ketchup heiress, the Heinz family. Oh yeah, yeah. You remember? I remember when I was in the states back before 2011. There was a big deal about this freaking John Kerry prick, right? And what he did was he bought a yacht. And you go, wow, he's pumping money into the economy. Well, yeah, he sure did because he bought the fucking thing, a handmade blah 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 yacht in New Zealand. Well, that was an insult enough. Then what he did was he. He tried to dock it to in a situation where he didn't have to pay any taxes on docking it. <laughs> so here's this multi-millionaire fucking senator. And all his concern is how he can not pay taxes on his fucking new boat that he yeah. bought from New Zealand. And you know how that's how Walmart works? They come into a town and people have to vote to uh, like a little town. It's how it, Walmart came to Clinton, Arkansas, instead of Shirley, Arkansas, and they get these tax breaks. And Walmart's not going to go for it unless they get these tax breaks, right? So that's how the uh, setup for the takedown occurs there. And then all the little mom and pop shops, you know, they start having to close up, you know, from the the uh, clothes store, you, you know, the uh, uh, hardware store, and and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. Walmart's there to knock them out. Sam Walton has probably rolled over in his grave so many times that he's ground down to bone dust. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, he was a good man. I don't know. I never met him. Well, I, my my uncle, he, he went out with his daughter one time, one of his daughters, and then you know people that knew him personally and met him and all that, so I've had heard some stories. Ah, uh, see the stories. Uh, but I know how he started out. Yeah. It was... Uh, he had a he had a store over there and it got hit by a tornado and uh and the insurance money he rebuilt and he just went from there. And what he was doing was selling the uh, prescription drugs below cost to get people to come there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so that's the uh that's the backstory on the uh, Walton Empire. See Sam it's, it's, he drove an old beater truck yeah. and you know, look you know, dressed in old shabby work clothes and uh beat about an old ball cap, you know. Yeah, we wouldn't ever know he was uh, a rich man. Hey, did you know that the prime minister of Denmark tried to make good with the Donald the other day? Really? No, I didn't know. Well, yeah, because you know they're they got diplomatic relations and all. Denmark's a nice place. These people I are. Think was, uh, this, I think it was the duck face that Donald does. Well, That's what. Gets no, well, me. let me get to the. Oh, the Donald. Yeah, go ahead. All the jo joking around about his face. You're right, but beside all that. Well, he went through all that tantrum about not being taken seriously about buying Greenland. All right. So he's not going to visit. So <laughs> the prime minister <laughs> invites him to look at investing in windmills. <laughs> and, and, you know, and they're all polite. They're nice people. They write it all pleasant. It looks real pretty. And the shit you hear from Trump is like, you know, ah, blow it up. If you don't want to do it my way, blow it up your ass. Fuck off. I've got guns. Donald Trump. You know, <laughs> well, that's the way I I hear the Trumpster. And then when I listen to these Danish wankers, it's all this pretty nice talk, and it's so different, Vince. It it's hard to it's hard to be um <laughs> to take Trump serious because <laughs> he's acting Especially like. Does like duck. a douche. <laughs> so, uh, these trade wars with China. <laughs> well, you know what the answer to that was, right? What? Doing business with Japan. Oh, yeah. I, I seen some about uh, telling the businesses in America to <laughs> do business with people other than China. <laughs> Walmart's going to go broke. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, that is a close shot. Jeez, oh, yeah, but that's why I laugh about Trump. He's he's not a president. He's a game show host with a microphone or a cell phone or a something phone. 
<laughs> he communicates with the public like every couple hours. I was asking on the RLM earlier what what uh, what brilliant things is the Donald said today. So Grim sends me a, a Twitter thing, and it's like every couple hours he's got comments. Now whether it's the Donald guy doing it or somebody he tells to do it, it doesn't really matter. It's still him, right? Yeah. But do you really believe that he's sitting there on a toilet, you know, with the fucking phone in his hand writing this shit? I, I I'm going to go with a yes, a resounding yes on the, on that. I do think it is him. He himself. Why? He's such an obvious narcissist that uh, he can't help himself. And, you know, <sighs> I would like to see some of these duck duck face selfies that he does. That's what I'd like to see more of. <laughs> I, I, could, I could imagine it looking like a, a possum. In one of the, uh, in like one of them, sun, what do they call the sunbathing things there? The, what they call, you know, tanning salons. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you know, those, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Those baker machines you get into. Uh, and in uh, the psycho imagine, movies, they cook, they cook you in them. I would imagine a possum and getting caught up uh, in one of them for about 12 hours. They didn't have the posterior view. That's, that's what Trump looks like to me. Well, have you have you seen any pictures of him on the internet recently? The color <laughs> pictures they make his it, the uh, around his eyes white, but around that is orange. <laughs> so, I guess <laughs> like you know when you got those goggle things on, you were just talking about. <laughs> they got the they cover your eyelids so the yeah, radiation right, doesn't right. burn your corneas through. Anyway, that's how Trump looks in these pictures to me. Wait a minute. Right. Did, did you... Hey, here's a, here's some uh, interesting trivia for you. Melan- what? how do, what's her name? Melania, is that uh, that's Trump's wife, right? Melania, so, right. Mel- yeah, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I just read it all the time. It's like Bologna. 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 I don't know. She's a Slav or something. She's not She's not Scandinavian. Yeah, she's what do they call she's them? Anchor from... Yeah, well, uh, she's from northeastern have... Europe somewhere, I think. I don't think she's a, like Swedish or any of that. So Finnish. here's a bit of interesting trivia for you. Oh. You know that she's always carrying a purse. Now, I found a picture, and here's Hillary in it. Proof she's still alive, by the way. Uh, uh, she's the only one with a purse. Melania. Like don't Melania. you bash my hill dog. What do you think is in? she keeps inside her uh, purse is asked by mystery solvent. And it's funny. Here's a here's a gal that we follow each other here on Twitter. Yeah. She says her her pin money to run away and her drugs. <laughs> uh-huh. somebody, somebody else has a sign a capsule in case the pressure becomes too much to bear. Nah, none of that nonsense. Just her her. Now nah, you know what? Some women are just funny about a trademark. They do a certain thing like that, and they just Carry do it. They'll do it for ten years. Carry a purse, or or a scarf, or something. It's I not carry, that. I carry a purse. Huh? I carry a purse. Oh, lovely, sweetheart. No, well, it's a bag, but you know, people want to try to rip. And that's it. not what I meant. I I meant it. It is I her trademark. Bag. Like Michelle Obama's trademark was the bulge in the front of her dress. Yeah, this new it's one's another... trademark is to carry a pocketbook. Yeah. <laughs> See? Melania, she has the uh, the class to carry her bag in her hand. <laughs> That's what I just said. Only the long way. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle carried her bag in, her, in his pants, and this one carries her bag in her hands. Trademark. Yeah. Look at this. You bulged. You bulged like Michael. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, you didn't see that picture I showed. Look. Of what? Of me as a mountain goat. You as a mountain goat. Wow, uh, I don't think I want to see that. No, well, ah, that want... could scar me forever. Stop it! You're torturing oh. me now with visuals. Oh. Quit! Gotta... Cease and desist, you mental weirdo. What are you Where'd doing? You what are you doing to my psyche? You're damaging me in some kind of NLP way that I don't know about. <laughs> Am I going to be a Manchurian candidate? Wake up one day, go attack the mayor of Freddy Town. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think that could ever happen? Yeah. Do you really? Huh. Uh-huh. Well, I I don't have a weapon, so hmm. 
Guess I'd have to strangle the fucker. Hope he's not very big. Whew, this could get ugly. <laughs> CIA. <laughs> hey, do you, do you ever work for the CIA? No. How do we know? How do we know that you don't work for the CIA now? Um, would you like to have that straight from the horse's mouth? No, just making a point about how easy it would really be. It's easily proven, and I have a photographic evidence of to, to, to those live listeners now in the chat. Yeah, I submit to you hmm. straight from the horse's mouth hmm. a real shout out loud whisper <laughs> from a pony down under. A pony down under. Oh no. Uh, down under in Texas. <sighs> down under in Texas. You know, and, and I was told I'm weird because I smoke pot. Ha. You know, you're weird when you don't smoke pot, so. Hmm. But you know what I think I'm going to do right now anyway? I'm going to load this pipe and I'm going to smoke some pot. You know why? Because you can. Because you can. Because you're like that mountain climber guy, because it's there. You know what I'd do if it wasn't there? Go get some. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't bother. No, 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 no. I do not chase life. Life chases me, sir. That's why my doctor said, you are an enigma. And I said, hey, no, you're the enigma, nigger, not me. What's, an, what's enigma? <laughs> an, an enigma is like a riddle, something you, that is pretty difficult enigma. to solve. No, enigma. What's enigma? Enigma. Like no, en in Batman. No, stop. No, I ain't going to go for it, Vince. You enigma. stop. Hey. Enigma. You know what I think I'm going to do? Wait for it. There it is. Hold mm. on. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Enigma. Really like hard. in Batman. Enigma. It's a riddle. Black man. No, it's a mysterious black man. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's as there, wrong. There you have it. There it is. That's right as there. wrong. That's it what I mean by it. English is such a bastardized language. You can just make words up and people go along with it. That's not language. That's a joke. That's a, a, a rim shot, you know? But, ah. We're convinced of a lot of shit that ain't so, sport, so pick your arguments. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. You know why? Because you can. I don't have a choice. i got to live my life. If I lived your life, it would be, hell, man, the commuting would be fucked. So, no, I'll stay here and do mine. What are you going to have for lunch? Hmm. I already did. I had dinner. Oh, you oh tonight I had no tonight we had a takey outy sandwich and really? some Frenchy fries. I yeah, take him out. Sandwich. I forget what kind of meat it was, but why? Why do you ask, sir? Well, because uh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, you know what? When if uh, Subway was owned by a Chinese uh, chain, and <laughs> I, I, whatever I would come in, they'd be go, "Oh no, you eat it too much. You know, no more Subway." <laughs> the all you can eat Subway. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I, I pack it up he bankrupt them. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, yeah, they've got to like get a lever to uh, peel the sandwich over and fold it in half. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. Well, you're a threat to mankind. But you know I what? Mean, you have, like, a lot of is like uh, I, olive and spinach. Is, I would uh, like, say you're going to do good through the uh, oncoming zombie apocalypse. I'm. I'm going to say yes as well. I have all uh oh what just happened? I have all there we go, I'm back. I have all kinds of preparations. Do you got booby traps so that the zombies are, <laughs> get killed before they can break into your abode and kill you? I got booby traps for people to walk up to my house. <laughs> you ever catch one? <laughs> my friend They'd be like, I wish you quit putting stuff out like this. <laughs> ah, yeah. Well you shouldn't sneak up on a guy when he's Trying to be alone, I suppose. You know what? People don't really pay much attention to anymore. What? Privacy. Privacy? I think privacy has been belittled to a, a joke. It, it's not even a word that it, people take serious anymore. You know what I don't like? No. Is people, yeah, overstepping the bounds of privacy. 
It's like he was talking about. If the you somebody over there called the cops and said somebody's looking over my fence, it's like quit looking over their fence. Yeah. Or yeah. what if you what if what if it was like why do you gotta look up somebody's driveway for, you know? Yeah, same thing. It's yeah. no crime. If there's no victim, there's no crime. And if well, if you, know, you call when, the yeah, if you call the system and with some anonymous nonsense, they just humor you and go on the next thing. Well, it's not to be taken seriously here. Yeah. If uh, yeah. let's say let's say let's look at it like this for a minute. Now let's say that you like to walk around in the bus. Okay. Now if you rock walk around in your backyard inside a fence and somebody looked over your fence and seen you was offended, what? But now let's say you lived out on the a uh, road that didn't go uh, having you, you had to go out the same way you came in in other words right so all the traffic will see when they pass you by right now if you was to happen to be like only one of a few down the road there that live that way that be passing by and always looking up somebody's driveway and if you happen to notice them being like running around naked look, i'm putting you here in this position using you as the example uh, would, would it be okay for you to be naked or would people just like say, well, that guy's going to be out in his uh, front driveway naked. And if I don't want to see it, I don't look. I mean, where where would you uh, differentiate, uh, differentiate between the backyard and the front driveway? Being I would naked? say from my experience around here, uh, that's just not likely. These people aren't that outgoing. I'm not living in West Hollywood. Yeah, but that's why I well, I'm put- just trying to tell you something. I don't come from fucking West Hollywood either, so I kind of don't get in people's face and Pretty push bad. myself on them. Help me. And Stop. the wait a minute, the mentality around here is more of a they're less outgoing than Americans or English people that I lived among. Okay, let's make it easy then. Let's say I come over and visit. Now yeah. I'm really- okay. Take it in your driveway. What? 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 What will we expect? What would we expect? Wow, my driveway. Would there, would, would I'm trying police? to think if well, there is no police. I'm. It would be a matter of somebody calling us and going, "Hey, can you tell your friend to stop that?" Probably. <laughs> That's my guess. Neighbors so would I, call I, and I, say, "Put put a lid on your on your guest." So if I put on underwear, would that be okay then? More than likely, because there's kids and people ride bicycles down the road. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Just to okay. be, you know, just to there's be no... up to par or whatever that is. Yeah. We don't dangle our private bits in front of each other around here so far. There's, so a, swimming, you... there's a swimming pool. I, I meant to go, and I never did. And uh, they wear swimming suits, but I don't think they swim naked there. So, okay. hmm. It's they... just, this is an older place. I just don't think that modern kind of... Naked freedom ever will get here too soon. You ever gone to a place where people ran around naked? Yeah. You did? Yeah, San Luis Obispo back in the 70s. Uh-huh. Did you see the swallows? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, re- re- you remember the nuclear power plant they built in, um, what was that? Pirate's Cove, I think it was called. San uh, uh, SLO. San Luis yep. Obispo. Well, if you look it up, and there's a map to it and all that. No need, sir. But Carry they on. had a beach there, and we used to go to the beach, and it was a nude beach because there was no uh, enforcement to to enforce anything. So ask Kramner about Black Beach down by San Diego. That's, yeah, I've been to Black's Beach, been to yeah. Pirates Cove, but back back in the seventies when I was young. But see all that all that excitement and hoopla, just it get after you've been naked on a beach for a little while, it gets normal. There's no uh, hmm. It just becomes the normal thing. It's hard to explain. I guess you got to do it. And I did it. So I hit 20 and went, ah, I'm done with that. I don't need to prove anything no more. Now I know. Is it You had to prove it? To Something? myself. I don't see. I'm not like other people, man. You guys no, believe true. every fucking story some nigger tells yeah. you. You, know? you, prove you don't you fucking do, do shit. That you should you get do. out of your house once in a while, VD, and go see the world, my friend. Quit sitting okay. on your butt. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> I know better. Uh, but see, even I could say ignorant shit about you, and people would believe me and question you about something 
that I just made up as a joke. Yeah. But that's how we are. And it goes back to the very beginning of my question, which is, what is proof to you? How do you decide what proof is? If you've got eight choices to choose from and only one of them is true, how do you know you picked the right one? I didn't pick the one right one, as it turns out. Uh, I said uh, San Luis Obispo, and uh, it was uh, San Juan Capistrano. Yeah, that's a different place. San Luis Obispo is in California on the coast. So it's San it's, Juan uh, Capistrano. Yeah, but it, it's a little further away. Yeah, and no swallows. <laughs> Boy, I, didn't, I don't think the birds were going to go where there's a nuclear reactor, you bonehead. It'd be a good place to roost and make nest right all on the tower I, I doubt it i doubt a, i don't know if it was hot in 79 or not 78 yeah. i forget what year it is now might have been ever, 77 huh you ever see uh swallows how they make no the nest under- uh-uh. no i'm not a big bird lover no nah. I, I like Let cats me... uh, i even I like think... the big cats you know what i'd like to see i'd like to see donald trump and putin wrestle big cats one each maybe like a, a jaguar cat putin will win no he I'll wouldn't tell you that putin wouldn't yeah, win putin would have have a knife in his pants like putin is no a way. putin's a nasty prick you know how you know that because you told me because just like old uh POTUS trump he's sitting in a position of power do you think that the positions of power get held by pussies and weaklings? No. Those are the <laughs> those are the bullies that are sitting in those seats. People that are willing to commit murder to keep a seat sit in those seats. And those people are so fucking devious and ingenious. They'll hire other people to kill for them so that their hands are never dirty. It's brilliant. It's like, you know, my favorite politician. Everybody has to get a little bit dirty, though. That way they got dirt on them. The well, yeah, it's a club. You're going to have something on. I bet you near every one of them. Look, there's some swallow nest right there. Hey, when I was a kid, one of the hey, big, wait, when I was on. a kid, one of the big things was uh, joining a gang when I was like 11, 12 years old. And my dad was hell bent on me not ever fucking around with any of that gang shit. Enough to sit down and tell me, you know, you don't want to do it, and this is why. And. He was right. But the reason I bring it up is a gang is run exactly the same way as a government. Mm -hmm. The wording is a little different, but the concepts are they're all equal and everything is delegated out by ability. And the public is only told what the public needs to know about that. (laughs) So we got we have what we have and it's. Wow, it's a mess. Could you clean this up? Clean what up? The mess. No. I can't, but I need your help. And I'm not telling you to send me money. No, no, no. I'm saying live in a truth and you don't have as much problem. There you go. You know, it's like uh, simple as somebody asking you what time it is. All you got to do is look at your watch and repeat what the watch says. But how many people just don't look at the watch and make something up? The person asking the time doesn't have a clue, so they're going to believe no matter what you say. <laughs> you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> Did you see that picture? No, I, I was ranting, you bonehead. Well, I'm, I don't open your links to entertain me when I'm talking. Well, I'm entertaining to... me talking. I was trying to demonstrate. Look, they look like mouths. It's really cool. What? Made out of- what? 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 I'm not Funny. opening it, Ali. Listen, hold on. I will describe it to you. Yeah, you will. The, the nests are made of mud by swallows. Oh, the by nests, yeah. Mouthful at a time, they carry the mud up and make their nest and pack it all and make it hollow. And so the opening uh, looks like mouths. It's funny. So swallows and mouths. And uh, what is really ironic is, is when you think about that and it being above the virgin river but put that together no why you put it together it's your idea you want me to you want to direct how i see your idea stop it you're making me crazy it's a bird you know what you know what i'm never gonna do but Vinny. 
what? I'm never going to build a nest for Circle and Hannah and Dr. Cooper and me. What do you mean? How would uh, you build it? I don't. I'm not the nest builder. Cirque is the female in this duet. Women are the nesters what? in our gender. What time is it, Grimner? Uh-oh. It's uh, whoops, the 9 and 39 after the hour. Hey, the... Uh, of nine. The, uh, that uh, difference there is going to the, uh, what is it? I don't know. 80, 84, now it was 88, the difference or between gold and silver. So look at how high silver is up to, eight, 15, 18, 15, yeah. $18.15 cents an ounce. Yeah, but that's still down from its last high. When no. it was high, it was up in the 20s a couple years back, I think. Oh, remember when it went to, it was clicking 50 up there? No, I I, I sometimes watch this and sometimes just ignore it. 1980s, right? Wasn't it's it? like a slot machine game to me. It's gambling. Finance. Yeah. It's make-believe. Yeah. It's fun. Right. Have fun with it, but come on, would it's you, not real. If you had, like, would you rather have silver dollars or paper dollars? Neither. I, mean, if, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm serious. Uh, here we go with this money crap. God, I well, don't you, give a flying fuck. Money is... You, you use money, do you not? No, Cirque uses money. You use it for... Uh, you, the fact is there's money being used. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't do any finance in Denmark. It caused me a world of fucking problems. Yeah, but you go down and get some... Oh, credit. yeah, 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 yeah. That's just the the labor part. I mean... What we got is, I guess, there's shit she doesn't like to do and there's shit that I, I do without a problem. And they just balance each other out. The money thing was, eh, that's incidental. doesn't have no, anything to do with yeah, how we live. I'm talking about you particularly having had go together, but the fact that it being used, money's being used, so which would you Well, really and see, pay? that's what I disagree with. Fiat is not money. It's pretend. We're playing a what fucking... Is dollars and gold dollars, is that? No, there, well, there aren't any. We're using plastic cards and uh, fiat. You could still get silver dollars, though, right? Where? Yeah. There's no coin deal. I, cents a piece. Where? Don't they have Krugers or something over there where you're at? I don't gold? deal in fucking money. How, how could I answer your question, Vinny? Would you... I mean... I, I don't know. Everything that we need to do is done in fiat and plastic. There's no need for coins, so there's no availability to them. So let's say you go to Freetown. Now, okay. You can take you can take some silver quarters, and you can get you would have that access. So I say you, whatever, and you can like be trading them instead. That of That would depend on the person that's selling to you. Right, right, right. There's so you no. Have the you have the option of going with other than dollars. Do they take dollars there? Or um, there's an exchange at the. There's a beautiful train station downtown, right? By and they got this damn like a, a miniature Disneyland. It's not that big, but it's got you know theme park kind of shit inside. It's really nice. Anyway, so they got the train station, and in the train station you go in there and you can exchange your currencies from whatever oh, yeah. part of the world you come in from. Really? They, they charge a you a fee. No, see, I didn't say bank. Uh, said so you, you can exchange your currencies. Yeah. And gotcha. Everything's all computerized and countable, and they charge you for every fucking thing they do. It's really a nightmare. So, I would not recommend um, trading. Fuck all that shit. So, so they got us. See, they got us in the electronic world. And it's uh, it's more intrusive and it's more, uh, what do you call it? They can keep better track of what you do and where you buy and what you buy and all that kind of crap. But it's more convenient. See? So, and it's not like there's a choice. The government is deciding for us here. And, and what what am I going to do? One, one person doesn't like it. They can, what are you going to do? Yeah. What would you do if you had to have like a implant or something to be able to go buy groceries and that sort of thing? I'd believe. You would? Mm hmm Oh yeah, I ain't a slave. What if what if they wouldn't let, let you leave? Because huh. you didn't you need to have a be chip to be able to leave. See, there you go with all that see, that's all that programming from people. And there there's ways to get around the system if you got two legs and a pair of balls. 
Would you sneak out? And see, you call it sneak out. I don't. I call it leave. Free, uh, fleeing for freedom. Where would you go from there? I have no fucking idea. No I, other state you could go to. There's always somewhere you can. It, look, wherever there's enforcement is what your problem is, not where you live. It's the enforcement you live under that matters. You know the best place to hide? Right in the middle of everything. That's right, in plain sight. Mm. Yeah, because for, for one is nobody expects you to be there. Right, mm-hmm. stand right next to them, you know. I'll catch this guy if it's the last thing I ever do. And he's standing right next to you in the picture. But you don't know it because you didn't see him. <laughs> you got told a story, Charlie. And that's, you know, that's where we are. We're in storyland where we hear stories. And I'm still stuck on what is the fucking proof that everybody's always telling me they have? How come your proof to me is not, it's just a story. It's like listening to a a TV show. It's just not real. Your version is kind of fun, but no, that's not happening. And they go, yeah, it is. And I say, okay, now prove it. And always go back. Well, I just told you. Yeah, well, where's the proof? Well, you're just too stupid to understand the very balance and nature of this here argument. <laughs> I believe it to be in the pudding, sir. Hmm. Well, you know, it's it's like they, 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 the system when they showed the public Charlie Manson, they really went out of their way to, to make him look way worse than he truly was. Yeah, and I think he probably bought into the propaganda himself and became the... Uh, well, he was in prison, though. But he was he spent most of his life in prison. It wasn't new. But the point was, now they got this new TV shit coming out, and they're portraying Charlie Manson as basically uh, capable of having a conversation with the FBI without being an idiot. So, yeah. well, right, because on the, the shit that they put in your face on TV and in the on, on the internet now, most of that swastika in his forehead. They point out all the weird shit, but they never just pay attention to the times where he says something that matters. So it's all jumbled and thrown at you in a big mess. And I think this uh, TV show that, that I saw on Netflix you know, a couple weeks ago, I think that cleared up. If you don't believe what you see in the TV show, then you're stuck on the old record. And, you know, People are just easily guided by stories. There you go. And the bigger and the more flamboyant like the story, the easier it is to bullshit them with it. Say it like you mean it, big boy. Well, I mean, you know, uh, hmm, I don't know. How do we know that uh, that you're in Arkansas? You know? Oh, I really? missed it. No, I mean, where's the proof? The proof, there is no proof. Vin E. is on the internet claiming to be in Arkansas. Now, that should be enough for anybody, right? You can do this thing over here. Uh, what, what is it? It's called uh, IP Locator yeah, Finder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I want to know who this person was in South Jordan. Oh, Utah. did I do that, Grimner? Yeah, I'm starting to... Uh, See, because in Danish, the Danes, I was uh, had this conversation the other day. The Danes, what we say in English, in 12 words, for example, oftentimes the Danes will say in four to six words because we use other words to identify the previous word, and Danes don't. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're tense. The tense that they speak in is less varied than ours. We got present tense, past tense, future tense, gender tense, boob tense, clitoris tense, and penis tense. Hey, I was identifying stuff here, man. You're talking over me. Uh. I was was trying to ask you a serious question. Hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. You're you're welcome. (laughs) Okay, or is um, twenty one and forty eight. What hour? Nine forty eight. So we yes. got we got to the end of the in a perfect world podcast tonight. 
Hey, we did it. I wonder if we ever do discuss shit that uh, makes people think about stuff. Because that's basically the goal. Not to guide them to, to think about any particular thing, but maybe this will open a door that will make you think of something that you like. <laughs> you know? I don't like to be led. I like to be shown. And I think there's a big difference. Hmm? 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, like I've said, and maybe I don't say it often enough, but I'll clear this up again. If I ever needed to deal with the the legal system, Hal would be the, the person to uh, use as a guidance tool to find the answer to what my problem is. Because he's got a method to deal with the state. Fortunately, no. wait, this is the way I'm seeing this. <clears throat> All right. Some people are happenstance like me. They live in the moment, deal with shit when it comes. And other people plan ahead. They write wills. Uh, that, you know, they do legal things. To They buy homes and plan shit and do this. And that. I live kind of differently than that. But if I ever decided to be a, you know, involve myself into the system, I'd want that information that he uses to deal with it because they uh, lie to us. Let, let me let me differentiate here just a little bit because I still have my opinion, Mister. You can have your opinion. Thank and you. you. Can, if you like your opinion, you can keep your opinion. Thank sir. you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Now, uh, to differentiate yeah, here, a yeah, lot of yeah. people suppose that Hal's given them some type of legal device for it. Uh, to enter into contract and it's quite actually the opposite just like he is not opening a can of whoop ass on you, but showing you how to open your one for your very own now what you get is is how to uh, position yourself where you're not uh, being in that claim jurisdiction so it's not like this is how you go about making a will out of your last testimony which what is a will and testimony do you understand the uh what that actually mean there is the will and then there is the testimony and that testimony is is making statement of your life of what you have uh, contributed and what you hope to see uh, in the future and continue on in uh, in your name this testimony right so well what is it but bearing witness a record right oh you said I didn't bring you. well yeah I I understand that's what I was kind of a roundish saying, Benny, is these things are legal matters, okay? And and they need to be dealt with accordingly. Matter, stop. Uh, they are fuck not. you. A will, a li leave your property behind you to somebody and I'm you have not, problems I'm in court. About, I'm talking about what Hal is talking about. He does not speak to the legal. He was fighting a minor's case for a long time. I heard all that. Okay. No. To the law, not legal. That's oh, that's, okay. You now you're gonna get into the semantics. I, Man, I was just passing a compliment, and you want to pick it apart at the end of the show. Ah, go well. I had to. Ah, get, you you participate in your occupation. I'm I'm in a good mood. I, no, I'm not. Yeah, trying to no, no. You're. I know what you're doing is uh, you're uh, you're perfecting my words so people understand what it means. Well, not your words. Just a hey. It was just an opinion. Because legal and lawful and all the technicalities behind all that, we don't cover that on in these po programs I do. That, well, I just there, not to any detail that is. needs to be picked apart. And the people it that is. know know. So, ah, eh. Hal, Hal is good information it, land. That's right. fuck. Will right. you fucking stop, yeah. you maniac? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <Vince. laughs> Take a fucking compliment, you I butt nugget. Mm. Because I don't really like to listen to other people that tell me shit that I know is fail. I like to listen to people that tell me what to do if something should come my way. Watch out for these things. This will come looking at, you'll see it coming at you, and it'll appear to be this. But it will not be that. It'll be something different. And everybody you talk to is going to tell you you're crazy, but you're not. And that's what I see in that kind of information. We've been lied to, people, a few times, maybe maybe three times. Well, it all all goes to the Mandela effect. It's in Ex your mind. There you go, man. You read my mind. You're like you're like psychic. They're like in my head, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It, it, 
Listen, man, I yeah. didn't want to say anything, mm. but yeah. uh, you, you're, you're behind on the rent. Again? Uh, okay. Uh, Sorry. I, I can, I mean. Hey, I got a good idea. Why don't you come over and take it from me? <laughs> How's that strike you? I'm not huh? it from Oh, yeah. You know what? I invite you. If you feel I owe you something in this life, why don't you come take it? If I'm not giving you what you desire, <laughs> come take it from me sometime. There we go. I can... Well, I mean, come on. I'm behind on the rent. What are you going to do? No, I'm not going to take it. Are you going to put me out in the street like a dog? No. Well, like you... a dog. He's like a dog begging out in the street like a dog. Yeah. I listen, man. Mm. You don't have to pay no rent. I can you occupy don't? your anytime you like. Oh, oh, I could turn you off so quickly, my friend. You have no idea. <sighs> Touch me. Turn me on. No, see, I feel you engage people that make you feel comfortable, and you don't engage people that make you not feel comfortable. There you go. Simple as that. And see? some people have the ability to just get under my skin, and some people don't. So Did I get a, yeah. you do occasionally, well, it depends on how, see, there you go. Friendships, it takes two people to work them. You can't have a friendship all by yourself. So, yeah. you know, but then there's always the, the shit, the person that's having the problem is going through that has nothing to do with you. Know what you I mean? What how, how you could be angry at your your wife, for example. I'll use Cirque as a, I could be angry at Cirque about something, and then be mean to you because I ran into you, but Cirque's not here, and I'm mad at Cirque, so I'm gonna be a prick of any. Mm. That kind of thing. Okay. It it's possible. It happened. I I didn't say I did it. I just said it's possible. I'm not above it, but I do try to stay more uh, aware. Of what's really going on in my head and not just be mad at people because the, the cat shit on the floor and I'm so angry the cat shit on the floor that I'm going to be mean to the next five people I talk to uh, because of that. But I don't want them to know it. I just want them to know I'm angry. Whoa. Would you be meaner, do you think, if, uh, let's say, if you had stepped in it to complicate the situation? Oh, yeah, definitely. Worse, huh? Mm. Yeah, but see, things like that happen to people in their physical, real life. And then they run into somebody they don't like, and they're not mad at the person. They're just using that as a way to get over being, uh, you know, accosted by cat shit. <laughs> I was attacked by a turd. Ah! <laughs> it attacked my foot. It was horrible. Had hey, four I legs and shit. What? Oh, that's, that's terrible and nasty and thing. Hey, I'm flipping my subtitle for today. In, yeah. I'm going to post it right there right now. Away with words, the war on sense making. Oh, I think I don't. I Oh, Grimm's talking to Prince about the metadata. So I was reading and listening at the same time, and I did not listen. Yeah, the metadata you set when you were, where you set your filezilla down there uh, uh, with you know, the audio and then the metadata down there. I think this is right. Is where yeah. you put your description in. Well, you know what Grimner did for me? What, sir? He made the simplest freaking way to use Windows and get a broadcast thing up. I mean, it's three steps, basically. Boom. And uh, hit record. There you go. And when cool. I end the show... and uh. I thought, see, I, I was wrong about this, but I, I don't know how Grim did it. Oh, because I record it. So if I if I accidentally didn't save the show that we're doing tonight, as mm -hmm. long as it was recorded, Grimner can retrieve it. So I didn't know that. I I thought, remember that little 14-minute bit we did, and I went, ah, screw it, I'm going home. Oh, yeah? I didn't save it. Well, Grim said, because I recorded it, it was there, and he made a show out of it. On the uh, the jet thing, I guess. I haven't. We did like 14 minutes of a show. You were drunk, and I was high, and it was weird. Yeah, I had that bottle of vodka Something. around for a long yeah. time. I just yeah. Hey, like, you know what? I was drunk in 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, everybody deserves to do what they want to do, is whatever that is. And the proviso is that you don't hurt other people doing it. 
It's not that complicated. I got to admit, the, the list oh, gets long longer the the more you think about it, but it's not really hard to keep your hands to yourself. Well, maybe when you're drinking, it's a little harder, but it's not impossible, is it? It's not impossible, but you know it's I possible. That it. We could go on forever and ever and ever and ever. But you know what? We've come against the uh, end of two hours. So we started what late say? too. Yeah. What so do you I say? Knew that already. Okay. So huh. what do you say, there, big boy? That we uh, tell the folks what they're going to get here if they come on right back here to reallibertymedia.com. dot com. Well, I think they're going to get a dose of Grimnir. Grimnir, Grimnir, and yeah, he's he's schooling Prince on his uh, metadata needs on the internet. Yes, and yeah. I was wrong. So do a show here, all you people that are critical of us dumbasses that do shows. Do your own damn show, so we can come over there and go, ah, you're funny. I recommend it. I welcome all of you people out there to give Grimnir a. Heads up, I want to do a show thing on the reallibertymedia.com chat. Sponsored by the good folks at... We're number 312 because we don't identify ourselves. There you go. Anyway, give, give them... I don't know. Did we beg for money this week, this month? Oh, no, but I, uh, yes, we should do that. Should we do that? Send your money. No. Yeah. Bitcoin. And whatever, yeah, any of that good stuff. Dodge coin, Doge coin. If it barks, <laughs> spider coin. <laughs> You'll find it in the link right there. In the Trump card. coin. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't forget Trump coin. Trump coin. Didn't he start his own coin? Electronic I'm coin. I'm starting my own coin. It's Vinny notes. Vinny yep. notes. Ooh. Yes, the one Vinny note will be one million dollars and be subdivided down into Vinny coins. <laughs> okay. All right. So okay. yeah, hey, send me a dollar and you'll get <laughs> one Vinny coin. And once we build up to a million dollars, you can pretty much say, uh, "Wow, I bet Vinny is living a wonderful life." <laughs> oh, I gave, I gave somebody my brilliant idea on how to get money together to enjoy life, and nobody listens. Send I'm so hurt. Now. No, not knock out everything. Hey, Koch just died. I'll bet the Koch family is looking for ways to hide all kinds of money. Apply for a grant for $12 million, right? And tell them that in 10 years you'll have a completed death ray that will work. And then you got 10 years to spend $12 million. <laughs> Think you can do it? <laughs> have fun. <laughs> That that's my solution to being poor in 2019. Uncle Koch, can I have a grant? <laughs> I want to build me a death ray. <laughs> that's just our one. Well, I don't see anybody stepping up and saying, "Hey, can we knock off the bullshit and just plant some hemp and grow some fucking food and stop spraying the skies with all this crap?" No, 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 no. Well, I'm I'm in favor of spraying the skies. Well, tell us who's coming up so that we can get over ourselves. <laughs> well, this has been a Tuesday in a perfect world. We've been contrasting the occupation right here. Thanks, with Vinny. Uh, somebody and me, Vinny. I have no. Who am I today? I'm back to Vinny. Mm. Okay. Was, uh, Vinny, who will you be tomorrow? I was Vinny Vader earlier today. Right. So I was looking for my father. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, dark. Okay. Thir Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, Miss Mary's going to take a break from radio. She has two more shows. Two That's more right. shows. Just two shows. So, all you Marriottes out there in Radio Land, pay attention. Take a note. Write, cut your finger and write this in blood. <laughs> Go on, Vinny. Tell them. Thursdays, we have Flash Somebody. What time are you going to be here? It's uh, cheap. 2 o'clock on the p.m. There you go. Eastern and at 11 p.m., we got the Poopster and Prince Power Hour. Yo! Second show. <laughs> Good start. I was I was pleased. Looking forward to hearing them again. Then Friday. Uh, I won't be here. Uh-oh. Uh, but Grammy will be for our last show Friday. Uh, Friday, y'all. 
followed by 11 p.m. by and it'll either be uh, balls to the walls here, uh, the freakers ball, y'all. But anyways, y'all, 11 p.m. Eastern Saturday. Hey, baby. Mm. Mm-hmm. At noon o'clock Eastern I'll Sunday. Right Sunday. We got the blues and we got fast finger trivia at noon o'clock. Followed at 3 p.m. How Anthony comes from behind the woodshed with not legal but lawful remedy and way to make your way through this life in the path of destruction. And the occupation that is upon us. Monday, we're back with Grim Leftovers. It's some yum yum fun at 7 p.m. and back again on Tuesday, right here sometimes in a perfect world. Thank y'all. Wow, that was easy. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, yeah, well, Hannah likes to say goodnight from Denmark in her own mm. special little way. Hi. So you occupied your occupation there, sport? Mm hmm. Are you all occupied now? Mm hmm. Are, are you sure? No. How, how do you know when you're finished? When you're done? 